Hello beautiful Taurus. This is your love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. Let's see what's going on in the love lives of our Taurus friends. Hope everyone's doing well. Taurus in love. Taurus in love. What is the energy for Taurus in love? All right. So we have, ooh, Libra Queen. You are making decisions. You are making sure that you're being very logical. It does look like there was a sudden situation, an argument. Something happened recently that has made you rethink something. So let's see, that tower card is a an epiphany, a moment, ooh, and the death card. Ooh, Taurus, it looks like something might have ended here very suddenly and unexpectedly, or you decided to end something suddenly and unexpectedly, okay? So let's see what we have here, Taurus. What's going on? What is Taurus feeling in terms of the way they are viewing this situation? Oops. I'm going to look at that. Okay, here we go. Well, that's what you want to manifest. So let's see what is going on with Taurus in terms of their how they're viewing the situation. Four of Wands, Marriage Energy, the Empress card. You're seeking the Empress Energy, and it looks as though you... Hmm, interesting. So that can actually go two ways. This could be surprise, your life is about to change because you're getting engaged. Or surprise, I'm not liking the fact that somebody isn't giving me this because I want to get married and I'm going to break something off that doesn't serve me and end it. So that can go either way. It's going to depend on the cards around it, okay? So I'll look at this, how you feel in your heart space. You are in love with somebody. You have found someone who has altered your whole sense of joyfulness, of happiness. The sun card's the happiest card in the deck. Let's see what this card, world card, ending a cycle that's been very successful to move on to the next cycle. Wow, Taurus. What is going on? What's the hidden energy here for our Taurus friends in love? What is going on with Taurus in love? Oops, there we go. Ooh, you are feeling really revved up. You're coming in as the Queen of Wands energy. That is the Aries Queen. We have Aries energy here. We have the Leo energy, Taurus, Libra. Mars, um, excuse me, Aries, Scorpio, and Aquarius, and Saturn. Okay, so let's see. You are, this is a stunning, stunning reading. Look at Spirit is saying, take a victory lap, enjoy yourself. And, you know, you're in the middle, of, you're in the limelight. I would also say for many of you, you may have, you may be experiencing a very big career success right now. This is all about getting rec recognition. It's like, I want to introduce you to all of my friends. Let's go out. Let's have fun. This can also be a lead up to engagement, but it's definitely very beautiful. Leo, Leo. Interesting. Okay. So what's the outcome for our Taurus friends? Look at that temperance card. And somebody has, has decided to speak up. Somebody who was off, you might be dealing with a Virgo. Somebody who finally made a decision to come forward. Look at that. No longer uh, thinking about things. Okay, so let's see what, what Taurus is feeling here in terms of the turn of events. Okay, so we have somebody has made an offer. Uh, it does look like this could be a new relationship or the return of a lover after a breakup. It can be either. It's probably two storylines, okay? Look at this energy. The King of Pentacles has come in and totally shocked you. They've shocked you after not speaking to you for a period of time. You thought that this relationship was over. So it does, and Taurus, that's your energy. Here you are in your own reading. This is Taurus energy. So which one are you? The masculine or the feminine Taurus energy? It does look like you had been very disappointed that you felt like something was over, that you were really well, you were very much willing to cut it from your life because we have the Queen of Swords with the Five of Cups. Your person really is very excited. You are their happy place. 
You are very dynamic. Ooh, they, they feel as though it's time to make a decision that you're at a crossroads. When we see the card of the Two of Wands, we see a VW bus circa 1960s, a, a surfboard, and somebody looking out the window wanting to have a beautiful beach adventure with you, the Sun card. Very often beachy energy. Beautiful. Why is the World card here? You might be at a distance from each other, but it doesn't have to be. The Ace of Coins, there we go. Oh, somebody from your past has returned. They have finished out a cycle. For some of you, the story will be that they've ended in a different relationship that they were in. So it could be the finalization of a divorce, uh, freeing the two of you to move forward. Okay. Yep, third-party situation, it looks like, was the case in the past. Let's see, a broken heart is now mending. Why is the beautiful Aries queen here? A new beginning. So we have the Fool card and we have the uh, the World card. There, It's so interesting because the, the World card closes out something. Um, so it does look like there was, again, a third-party situation in which somebody left a marriage. You are secretly planning a new future together. Gorgeous. The work has been done. The Magician card, you're both manifesting each other. Or you've manifested this person. We'll look and see what they are thinking and feeling momentarily. What is going on with the Six of Wands? Oh, somebody has confessed their love for you. They, If they haven't done it yet, they're about to do it, Taurus. That is Cancerian energy. Somebody loves you very deeply. They feel a little overwhelmed. They're very happy to be with you. Again, you're meeting friends. You're out there very public together in the near future. Oh, good. Look at this Virgo energy. The Hermit is now reversed. This person has gone from you feeling ghosted or being sequestered from you to coming towards you. Okay, so that's really good. That's walking into the future. All right. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are for how your person is viewing the situation with you. How do they view the offer that they've made in the they didn't feel as though they offered you enough. They felt as though you deserved a lot more. Let's see what we have here for this beautiful Taurus energy. This Empress, what have you, what is your person feeling and thinking? Yes, okay, now we have the Leo King, okay? So we have the Leo King, somebody who's taking action to leave another situation to come towards you, okay? Yep, here we go. There's a romantic gesture in the recent past. Why is a tower card here? Why was this out of the blue? <clears throat> Why is a tower card here with this handsome king? There's your offer again. Remember, you had your offer here. So your person has come back around. So they, they had to leave for a period of time to go take care of their business. Okay, and we're getting the... <clears throat> Look at this again. Oh my gosh. They are making an offer. It looks like they're trying to offer a chance to be married. And look at this. That's how they view you. You're per the perfect marriage partner. The Four of Wands. That's the honeymoon card. It's a marriage card. It shows that they're not sure that you're going to accept though. We have the Four of Cups. They're very much afraid that you might not accept the offer because it looks as though there was a sudden period of time in which they walked away um, and it looks as though you felt very uncertain about it. Why do they view you as their perfect marriage partner? Why do we see this? You're the High Priestess. Look at that. They think the world of you. Like literally, this person thinks the world of you. Taurus. Well, you know, it's Cancerian energy. So it looks like there's a lot of earth and water here. Some fire thrown in for excitement. Look at the, oh, here we go. Okay, so this is very significant. Now we have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, when paired with the Ace of Coins, is an engagement. This is usually, this is a party, that's the ring, and the Six of Wands is like the public announcement. Hey, look at us, we're together. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> so let's see what else we have here. Why is this person feeling 
as though they made you sad? Well, because you, you began to regret having had your relationship with them and they knew that you wanted clarity, that you needed clarity, so they brought clarity right to the table for you. Taurus, this is a really great reading. All right, what is a decision that this person has to make? to be strong for you. There we go, the infinity symbol. They've already made the decision. They already took the action. They closed the cycle out. They're now making an offer to you after uh, a situation in which you know was heartbreaking to both of you. Look at that energy. The tower card, you didn't think they would do it. <laughs> they weren't sure they would do it either, but it looks as though they just couldn't take the pressure of being away from you. The tower card can be very good. It really can be. It's that, it's Aries energy, but I always think of it as Uranus too, because it's like the lightning bolt, which is very Aquarius, like setting yourself free, bringing the tower down, creating something more stable. Look at this, yes, a judgment of divorce. Good, okay, releasing something from the past. You manifested this, your person manifested it. The two of you have a new beginning. This is probably a reconciliation for most of you, with somebody that you've known for a while, maybe up to three years. The three doesn't necessarily have to mean anything, but this is a person you probably worked with and or at least you've had a very practical, very in-person relationship for a long period of time. The two of you know each other. Okay, so let's see. Look at this. Nine of coins. So it really speaks to the fact that you have really taken care of yourself. You let this person know that they needed to make an investment, that you look at this, oh my gosh, the seven of coins, the eight of coins, the nine of coins, and then the knight of coins. So what we see here is the two of you investing solidly. Look at both of you are lockstep. You're following the advice of spirit. This is a spiritual journey. It's gorgeous. And look at this, you have repeat patterns here. We have, again, the star, the fool card, I was going to say star, but that looks like stars, doesn't it? This is exquisite, gorgeous energy. All right, and then we have the, the temperance card. Temperance, that's my number one card of reconciliation. Coming together, working through the problems, moving forward, releasing that which doesn't serve either one of you. Throwing caution to the winds. How exciting. Look at this. Okay. So now we have a situation where your person has decided. The decision has been made. Throwing caution to the winds. They were trying to decide. That's when this hermit cart was, was this way. That was the energy. And now that it's reversed, they have made the decision. And look at you are the rock star. Hopes and dreams for love coming true. Equal give and take. They're in it to win it. All right. So let's see also what the energy is here from the deck, the wisdom of the oracle. Wow. This is gorgeous. Okay. So tell us about that whole tower card, death card thing. Spirit, let's see. By the book. Somebody did something by the book. Beautiful. You know, that's, it looks as though you told this person, look at, we love each other. We have to do this the right way. You need to end whatever this is to come to me the right way. Look at this higher power. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful energy. Taurus, sending you love from Chicago. Please leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. Tell me what your reaction is. So good. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.